Did you hear him fall into the well? No, Andy! <laughs> Calm down, my lady. He will be found. He can't be far. It's all right. Where is he? Where could he be? <laughs> What have you done to him? Answer me! Calm down. Let's find out what's going on, what's happened. I was in the house, working with Bisma, and the children were playing outside in the yard. All of a sudden, I heard them calling Joseph's name, and I asked them why. They said he was missing. Have you looked everywhere? Yes. This is how you look after him? He was put in your trust. How could you let this happen? Enough, Leah. That is not helping any of us. Have you searched the dark corners of the houses? Yes, yes, we did. Joseph is a clever child. I think he's just hidden somewhere nobody can find him. Let's think. Maybe he hid in a chest. Or one of the ovens. Joseph? Joseph. He'd fallen asleep. Joseph, come out, son. Hello, father. Hello, my darling. What were you doing in there? My son, you nearly killed me. Joseph, what were you doing in there? We were playing. I hid in the oven so that my brothers wouldn't be able to find me. <laughs> Sister, you shouldn't have let him out of your sight. How would you feel if he'd suffocated? I made a vow to my sister to look after her children. As of now, I will not let him out of my sight. I don't think I'll be able to live without Joseph. Leah, don't hurt me this much. An old, frail woman having one foot in the grave is begging you. No, you heard me. to look after Joseph better than I did before. Sister, the truth is I can't bear to be separated from Joseph. I want him here with us. Please, I'm asking for just one more chance. One simple chance. Sister, you know Joseph is no ordinary child. I can't be negligent about him. Please don't separate us from each other. So quickly and without warning. Just let him stay a few more days. Give me time to adjust. I am sticking to my word. Leah. Just for a few days. Do you understand? A few days. Only a few days. And I promise to return him to you personally. 
Let's go, my darling. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, brother. God be with you. I'll never forget your kindness. Have you slept yet? You go to sleep, son. I'm not sleepy. Are you awake, my Joseph? You didn't sleep at all last night. Every time I woke up, you were awake. The thought of you leaving my house has taken calm from my soul and sleep from my eyes. But, Auntie, I love you and I don't want to leave here. I'm happy here. I don't want to return to my own house. Joseph. Do you really love me? You smell like my mother, Rachel. I love Aunt Leah too, but when she is kind to me, my brothers get upset. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> you really want to stay here with me? Well, I have thought of something. A way to keep you here. But you must help me. Up you get. Get ready to go to your father. Hello, father. Hello, my son. <laughs> I have come to return what was in my trust, safe and sound. Hello, Auntie. Hello, darling. You were supposed to keep him for a few days. Joseph, welcome home, son. If one must return what is in her trust, the sooner the better. If you don't agree, I'll take him back. No, no. We're grateful you have returned him. We're also very grateful that you have looked after him. For a little time. Joseph, let's go and play. Off you go, son. <laughs> Goodbye, brother. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Anne. What's the difference between Joseph and his other brothers? Why do they value him so much? Well, it's obvious. Jacob and his sister like Joseph more than they like our children. Water.
Bisma. Bisma. Yes, my lady. The belt of my father, the prophet Isaac. Have you seen it? No. Come with me. We must inform the old Yakim and some others as well. Let's go. Dina, slow down. Judah, Levi, hurry. What's the matter? Bisma, what is it? The Prophet Isaac's belt has gone missing. Have you looked everywhere? I have. It was the last reminder of our father. I'm very upset. I used to wrap it around Joseph's waist. Keep looking. I'm sure you'll find it. We've searched everywhere and asked everybody. But there's no trace of it. When did you lose it? I'm, I'm not sure, but I think it's since Joseph returned here. Has any one of you seen the belt? Perhaps Joseph hid it somewhere before he returned here. You don't think Joseph may have taken the belt when he returned because he liked it? You mean Joseph has stolen it? Perhaps he thought it was his, and that I'd given it to him. I don't think that's the case. I will search everybody and every place until I find the belt. I shall not rest until it is found. Only Joseph wore that belt. We know nothing about it. If that is so, well then I'll start with Joseph. Your permission? I cannot imagine what trick you're playing. Whatever it is, it's bothering me. Trick? This is no trick. People! I have lost my father's belt, and I am trying to find it. Is that a trick? All right, all right. Don't make a fuss. Search everybody. You see, I wasn't lying. There's the belt. Joseph, why? Joseph hasn't done anything. He just stole the belt. <laughs> People of Canaan, you have witnessed it. We have discovered who the thief is. Oh, all right. You found your belt. Take it and go. But it's not that simple, brother. You haven't forgotten the lore of the Canaanite people, have you? According to the traditions and customs of Canaan, he who finds the thief of his belongings is entitled to keep him as a slave for four years. Wow. Joseph has to become a slave. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, we all know the tradition. But surely you don't wish to enslave Joseph. I wouldn't hesitate even for a moment. Unless you wish to ignore the traditions and laws of your people. Stop it. I don't believe in that ridiculous tradition. You'll not have Joseph as your slave. If the family of the prophet of God do not observe the people's tradition, what can one expect from the others? But Joseph is only a child. You cannot enslave him. There's no difference between a child and an adult. This law applies to everyone. We must respect it. I know there's a trick. But I cannot prove it. Therefore, if you don't forgive Joseph, I have to agree with your request. I found the thief, and I will not forgive him. May God and his prophet forgive me and not punish me.
Let's go, Joseph. As of today, you will be my slave for four years. That's what becomes of too much praise. It's what happens when you spoil a child for no reason. Children are sometimes playful, aren't they? It's not stealing. Why did you let her take him? She's incapable of looking after Joseph well. Joseph had seemingly stolen something. What can I do? I can't prove otherwise. Don't worry. He's not in a bad place. My darling, as of now, you will be the master and I'll be your maidservant. You are my brother's heir and the apple of this tribe's eye. This belt is in fact an inheritance that only you deserve. Is this belt really now mine? <laughs> Hello, dear son. Has the prophet of God forgiven me? May I enter his house? I couldn't forgive you if you did not come. You have acted as someone in love. And you took that which you love. Absolution <laughs> deserves well, the prophets of God. I hope to be worthy of such a promise. I see no guilt to necessitate absolution. What is it that has brought you here? Joseph insisted that we come. Your son had a dream he wishes to tell you about. I have no doubt that his dream is a blessing. No demon is allowed in the dreams of Joseph. Son, what was it that you dreamt? I dreamt that my brothers and I were playing in the plains. And then, a strong wind was blowing.
don't think it has a specific interpretation. I will have to think on its interpretation, and then I may find something. Will you take the herd to the plains today? Go on. I wonder what Jacob's interpretation is. It's obviously something he won't talk about in front of the others. But it's obvious, you fool. It means the superiority of Joseph to his brothers. Simple. The children understand the meaning of the dream. I noticed they were upset. I must try to erase the bad effect that it's had on them. Joseph should not have said it in front of them. Prepare some bread and dates. I'll go to them in an hour. Come in, son. <laughs> Everything I've thought about you has turned out to be true. I give you the glad tidings that you shall have a high position and lofty status in the future, and that you shall be the leader of your brothers. <laughs> My father, the prophet Isaac, prayed that God would ordain many prophets of our bloodline. I'd always wished to know who would inherit my prophethood. My hope is that you will continue my way. May God keep you safe from all evils and troubles. Perhaps you are the one we have been awaiting. Father, what does prophethood mean? Prepare my food and clothes. Prophets are the messengers sent by God unto the people to direct them to salvation and perfection. Tell no one your dream's interpretation, especially your brothers. Why, Father? Because if they hear it, they may become envious and then become your enemies. And no good may come of that. You worry me, brother. I think now that I must protect Joseph even more. If you'll allow it, I will take Joseph home now. Take him and watch him. God be with you. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, my son. Sister, don't leave him alone. I'll bring him back in the evening when you have returned. I've been unable to shepherd with them for some time. I'll return with them in the evening. Our children think that your attention to them has lessened. Don't worry. I'll try to correct the misunderstanding. With Joseph and Benjamin around, Jacob will not pay attention to other children. always bring our own food along. Why, Father, did you bring this to us? <laughs> Am I not entitled to miss my own children? Am I not entitled to spend some time with them? Nothing could make us happier than your coming to see us, Father. 
Before you arrived, we were all in low spirits. No one was in the mood for laughter. Why? What has happened to cause that? Well, Father, you know that we feel as if you're paying less attention to us. We think that you're paying more attention to Joseph and his brother than to us. I only allow Joseph to go to his aunts for all of your sakes. Did you not know that? And because your mother paid excessive attention to him. What's the difference? Mother is now hugging Benjamin and aunt is hugging Joseph. And he provides Joseph with the best clothes and playthings. I agree with that. But you must be fair. Joseph and Benjamin are children. We must fill the void left by the loss of their mother. Father, we're concerned about Joseph's dream. We're the powerful men of the family. We have the heavy responsibility of providing for the family and doing the hard chores. And yet now, Joseph will be your successor. Joseph's dream can have another interpretation also. Didn't Joseph say his stick had grown into a tree and cast its shadow onto your sticks? That can also mean he loves his brothers and that he wants everyone together. Our young Joseph will be kind and affectionate to everybody. And he will love all his brothers. It seems that in addition to our interpretation, it can have another interpretation also. Are you saying Joseph isn't your successor? God will ordain my successor, the best amongst you. You must stop nagging me about this. Joseph and Benjamin are your brothers, not your enemies. And I love all of you. And I ask all of you to love each other so that God will love you too. The men of my family, you are my hope and support. Today I feel I can rely on you and rest assured. You are brave and daring. When you are around, no sorrow can break Jacob's heart. We apologize for upsetting you. Wolf. Levi, Reuben, Simeon. Wolf! this come from? Well, we killed it. It attacked our sheep, so we attacked it and killed it. This wolf could have hurt one of you. Instead, we have hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> May God save us from you crazy, bold children. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you helped your children. They didn't give me a chance to do anything. Before I was even on my feet, they had already killed the beast. We were preparing lunch, and suddenly the herd started to panic and run all over the place. And there was the huge wolf. And we killed it. That is so dangerous. However did you do it? Simple. We attacked it when it attacked the sheep. And we beat it with rocks and sticks, whatever we had. First I banged it on the head with my stick. Then Levi hit it on the head with a rock and confused it. And if we'd panicked, we surely would be dead. I wish that I were like you. Father, may I go to the plains with my brothers? No, darling. 
You're too young. You will go when you grow up. <laughs> Simeon, Levi, Judah, come here. Come here. I'll Father, go see. may I go? Yes. And don't forget, go and give some food to the dogs in Canaan. When Father came to the field, he asked why we interpreted Joseph's dream as superiority to his brothers. Maybe the meaning of his dream is his great love for his brothers. Maybe. Maybe he loves his brothers. Of course, Mother. Joseph loves us all. There's no need to be dreaming about love. Dreams give news of the future, about Joseph's superiority and leadership. Your father has taken you for fools. Don't believe it. Your father was just trying to calm you down. Bilha said, if the dream is true, it indicates superiority and leadership of Joseph over his brothers. But we were playing with Joseph. And we enjoy it. He is a father. He doesn't want envy amongst his children. He wants everyone to love Joseph just as he does. My father. He isn't well. Sister, what is the matter? <laughs> My time has come to an end. <laughs> How do you know that? You've been just fine. What has happened all of a sudden? It makes no difference. I just know I'm leaving. We'll get the physician or some medicine. She isn't well. But I knew yesterday I didn't have much time. <coughs> Jacob, listen to me. When you insisted on leaving our house yesterday, I should have guessed. Although I have little... <coughs> I want... Whatever I have to go to Joseph and I ask him to forgive me. <coughs> I ask you. 
to forgive me as well. <coughs> the past four years, I've kept Joseph here by trick. He never stole anything. May God forgive me. You too forgive me. <coughs> My Joseph is not a thief. It was me who hid the belt under his clothes. I knew that was the case. Don't worry yourself. Please tell everybody. My Joseph was never a thief. Don't be upset. I want to talk to you privately. <coughs> Joseph is a sign from God. The same way that he is a blessing to some. He is also a loss to some. I see the signs of envy and of spite. Watch Joseph, please. He is the path of prophethood. Don't leave him for a moment. Don't let him out of your sight. Let him sleep beside you. Don't send him anywhere alone. Sister. Sister. Have a good journey, sister. Farewell. Give my regards to our mother, Rebecca, and our father, Isaac. Give my regards to Rachel. Give my regards to our grandfather, Abraham. <laughs> Request not from anybody, and take refuge only in him. Ask him whatever you want, as all are impotent, but he is the omnipotent. All are nescient of your intentions, but he is the omniscient, 
If you seek a beloved, he is your beloved. If you want a protector, he is the protector. If you seek benevolence, he is the benevolent. And if you seek admonishment, he is the admonisher. Whatever you ask people for is in his possession. Woe unto those who request from anybody but him. Many people shall be exposed if God appears with justice on the judgment day. Many secrets shall be revealed if he looks into hearts with justice. There shall be many rulers who shall become captives if God helps the oppressed. Many eyes shall cry blood if the sinners realize the vileness of their deeds. Therefore, be prepared for that day and correct your deeds for that day. Like she did, be all prepared for departure as we shall all unavoidably step on this path. Let us all pray for her soul. O Lord, may her soul be with the souls of the pious and the righteous. Amen. Amen.